looking fantastic. It's supposed to be like this for every shoot. How many has it actually been? Never. <sighs> Jingle bells, your API smells, where's your SDK? Oh, what fun it is to build an app and to own day. Needs work. Well, 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 fancy seeing you here, here for episode 8, the last episode of the year. We've got a super stellar lineup for you today. We're going to take a look at some more hackathons. We'll be going farming with Figured today, excellent. We'll have Brooke back, she'll give an ecosystem update, and we're going to try and put you to sleep with some machine learning. Now Julie Reddish and team have done a fantastic job running this Explore hackathon. So let's take another look. Cue me. <laughs> You're with Dan, Global Explore 2016. It's another opportunity for our devs to do whatever the hell they like. Stuff they normally do on the weekend, they can get their coding glasses out, they can wear unicorn outfits. Some of them are looking to build the best products, some of them are looking to be the best dressed. You'll see everything, there's something for everyone in the next 48 hours. We're going to be talking to heaps of people. Stay tuned. Maybe again. Oh well, who cares? It's only export. J-Man, when hey, are we bro. getting the show on the road? Oh, I think you're a bit late. I'd be late. Let's get this party started. Time for Explore. So we're going to go and find a few teams out on the floor. We're going to start with the investment bankers. Let's see if they fail. Fellas, right. how's the investment bankers convention going? It's great. Lots yeah. of profit. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Love it. Tell us what you guys are working on. Uh, we're trying to apply machine learning to Zendesk tickets. Uh, so we'll rattle like that. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Gumley. Hello. It's been a it's been a long time. It's been a while. Tell us uh, what Explore means to you. Uh, a day off from the day job. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but you are going for the best dress, clearly. Absolutely. And, and my reward is the best cake. Check out my cake. Yeah, it's pretty awesome cake. It's pretty awesome cake. Machine learning, eh? Oh, you weren't meant to leave that. <laughs> Machine learning. It's the best. Is it a winner? Oh, absolutely. I'd also like to mention AI and Synergy. So, Bones, tell me a little bit about your Explore project. Wally? There's Wally. Where's Wally? There's Wally. Tell me about what you guys have been up to. What are you going to present for us today? Um, so we're presenting our new web application mm -hmm. um, to connect fellow Zeros uh, interests. So if you're interested in beer drinking or um, knitting or sewing, we cater for everyone's interests. Tinder for Zero? Thoughts? <laughs> no. No? Yo, bro. Yo. <laughs> So all of that work you did overnight, do you think it's going to all sort of come to fruition, you're going to number one? Yeah, I nailed it. Yeah. It's awesome. Wow. We'll soon find out. Back to you. Back to me. Ha! Yes. Now, oh, wasn't that cool? I think so. You know, our Zero developers have built some killer stuff in 2016. Personally though, I was a little bit upset that Adam didn't win with his swaggerizing of the accounting API. That would have been cool. Perhaps next year, when it's finished. All right, so that's enough from me. For the last time in 2016, we're going to go to Brooke Anderson. She's going to give us a lovely ecosystem update. Let's go, Brooke. Thanks, Dan. 
So you would have seen recently, or you might have seen recently, that we've just launched Zero HQ App Explorer and our new advisor directory. And this is super exciting for all our app partners because now your apps will be showcased in our product in the, in the Zero HQ where accountants and bookkeepers are working, but also in our advisor directory where small businesses go and look for accountants and bookkeepers. Now your apps are there showing the experience that those um, partners and their clients are having with you. So super exciting. We've also introduced 15 new app partners recently into our, into our ecosystem, so massive welcome to you, and looking forward to heaps more coming next year. So as you know, every month we celebrate the ecosystem partner of the month. In November, it was Big Commerce, and this month, to wrap up the year, it is Receipt Bank. So a massive congratulations to Receipt Bank. You have a five-star rating, over 200 reviews in our community, and you just got an award for your amazing app at Account X conference in the US. We're really proud of you. We're really proud of all of our ecosystem partners and I can't wait to see what happens next year. So that's it from me. Have a happy holiday. Looking forward to getting uh, back into DevTV next year. So now I'll leave you with Dan, the head of all things apparently man. Um, I'm gonna get back to my real job and catch you in 2017. See ya. Aww. We've had a fantastic year when it comes to our partners. Xericon was epic. We've been adding more and more high quality apps to the ecosystem. Fun fact, did you know that there are seven sheep for every human in New Zealand? Ridiculous. Where's the story going? Nowhere fast. But we have Regan who's talking to an app partner, Figured, in his new segment, Fun on the Farm. Take it away, Regs. Hey everyone, Regan here from the Developer Evangelism team. Uh, we're here at Waikikamukau with Richard Wyke, the CTO of Figured. How are you, Richard? Yeah, good, Regan. Awesome. So uh, tell the fine people about what Figured are and what they do. Okay. So Figured is a cloud-based management accounting platform for farmers. Um, and it works hand-in-hand -hand with Zero to give real-time information to um, the whole farming team, so farmers, accountants, all the way to their bankers. Great. And um, how's things going for you? How's business? Oh yeah, listen, we're really busy at the moment. Um, things are going really well. Um, we've got offices in New Zealand, in Australia. We've just um, opened first office in America. Um, so, you know, we're, we're really busy. Um, we're really lucky to have really good partners. So we've just signed um, Commonwealth Bank in Australia this morning, which is really good news for them and for us, for um, that project. Um, we've got great partners here in New Zealand with the BNZ and ASB. Um, and yeah, listen, I mean, it's been a really, really busy year for us. We've gone from about 300 licenses a year or 18 months ago to about 7,500 now. So, um, you know, we're busy some, in the office. That's some crazy growth. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, how have you handled that from a dev perspective? Like, what are you using for your dev stack to, to cope with that amount of growth and users? Sure. So um, we a completely open source uh, tech stack. We use PHP um, primarily on the Laravel framework. We use a mix of databases. We use uh, MySQL. Uh, MongoDB as a document store, um, obviously all on Amazon, you know, we use a heap of stuff from them, their servers, database, caching, all the security that comes with that, um, and obviously the Zero API. Cool, so just on the Zero API, um, you know, what, what's the key advantage that you guys get from uh, integrating with us through the API? Um, you know, we, we, uh, we get a heap of benefit, um, getting the real-time data, um, having everyone looking at the same information in real time. Um, and also the scale, you know, being able to um, pick up customers in you know, almost any country is really good for us. Really cool to be out here with you, um, so close to such amazing animals. Yeah. Um, what, what, what is your favourite farm animal? Probably the cow. The cow? Fair enough. You want to give me a cow impression? <laughs> no, I don't want to give you a cow impression. <laughs> cool. Well, if you don't want to give me a cow impression, perhaps uh, we could, uh, after this, have a little challenge oh, yeah. between Zero and Figured. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the fine art of uh, cow pat throwing. Uh, it's a big yeah. competition in New Zealand that's held uh, it annually. Great. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Um, but before that, uh, I'll give you a handy dandy t-shirt. Thanks very much. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Uh, I know I've kept you waiting. Um, I've also got some for your team as well. I uh, want to make you guys feel like you're a proud cool. ecosystem partners. <laughs> um, yeah. So thanks very much for coming out. Lovely to see you. Um, great to be in such beautiful surrounds with such beautiful animals. Back to you, Dan. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Regan. I love Figured, as you can see by my hoodie. Disappointed that it's not carving season, though. That would have been quite fun for this segment. All right. Now, I just want to take um, a second to plug one of the great initiatives that um, Melbourne, 
Victorian government and also our evangelists have been uh, working with. Um, now it's called Tech Girls are Superheroes. It's run by the Tech Girls Movement. It's an amazing initiative to get young girls into technology, solving problems with technology. It's about diversity. Beck, our Melbourne-based developer evangelist, has been mentoring one of the teams, and it's really cool. Um, so it's really helping to you know, increase that diversity. So Now, I didn't have, unfortunately, enough time to put the segment, the video, in there, because it was four and a half minutes, um, <coughs> which kind of sucks. But I've included a link in the YouTube description, so you can check it out yourself. Now, um, machine learning is all the craze at the moment, so we have developer Steve who's going to take you through his presentation he did at API Days this year. He's turned it into a video, so hopefully it's good. Thanks, Dan. For those of you that have looked at the ins and outs of machine learning, you'll know that it's a pretty heavy and in-depth topic. It's a technology that is useful and can offer a lot of benefits, particularly to end users, both API and as part of the user experience. Let's look at some of the machine learning models. The first step to any processing is to set up some clusters using the data. This is the grouping of certain attributes into groups or clusters to allow machine learning processes to start to match resolutions to reoccurring issues. Next you have unsupervised learning. Thanks Steve. Didn't put me to sleep. Nice work. Didn't understand a word you said, but that's okay. Alrighty, so I just want to take a moment now to thank everybody who's been involved in making this show a success in 2016. That includes the talent, video team, Mike most importantly, and um, all of the app partners who have let us feature their apps on the show. It's been pretty good for them though too. Um, so the likes of Vend, Wicado, um, uh, Float, um, Google, Microsoft, the list goes on. And so thanks a lot for being involved. I'd love people to send in their thoughts on what they want to see the next year for the show and also your questions for the team would be great. Um, so have a great Christmas and until we see you again, say hi to your motherboard for me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, catch you in the new year. The history tells us that uh, six minutes is the longest people actually stay on the video for. But congratulations for getting to the end. If you want to see more of me, then take a look at our previous episodes and subscribe down below. Cheers! And blah 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 blah.